Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome to the start of this bonus episode for Ash's Afterglow, where we'll be delving into Anomaly 210, the second secret map of the game, which I unfortunately missed in my playthrough. And the reason I missed it is because when we were here in the Disarray map, I actually didn't realize that this was a usable computer, because this is where you get the keycard inside of the bunker before you go back up and encounter one of those flamethrower mutant guys. But we need to start here in order to get the location for Anomaly 210, and then I'm going to have to play through on my own up to the point where you leave Prosperity behind, and it should appear as an option once you go through the gate as going to check that out instead of going straight to Site Sigma. So let's see what this computer has for us. A terminal displaying strings of text. It seems to be displaying a list of radio frequencies. There doesn't seem to be any options available. Hit a key at random. All at once, the system comes to life. An option display covers the screen. Flashing yellow triangle with an exclamation sits at the top of the screen with the words 17 errors found. Select the errors icon. Several error messages fill the screen, most are in code speak, and you have no idea what they mean. But apparently, connection to something called Sigma has been lost, as well as a warning about a missing scheduled update, due 70 years ago. Sigma, that sounds interesting. The screen switches to an illuminated grid display. It seems that several prominent points are indicated by an icon, a series of words are flashing at the bottom of the screen. Go to Sigma, contact Athena, protect the seeds. Protect the seeds? Wait, Athena? A lot of the locations look to be very close. One is a town marked Prosperity about a mile away. To the north is a red icon marked Sigma. Release Athena. Find Sigma. Do not let them have the seeds. Error telemetry out of date. Insert survey disk to update. So I don't know exactly what this is referring to, because at the time of recording this bonus episode, I haven't actually finished the game, I only did the episode up to when we headed towards Sigma, so I don't actually know what happens there yet, at the time of recording this part. Probably will later in this video, once I've gotten to the anomaly. Error telemetry out of date. Insert survey disk to update. Survey disk? Wait, I wonder if this machine could read that disk I found in the spire. As you insert the disc into the console, you hear some loud whirring as the console reads the contents. Warning, the following file has been classified secret. Unauthorized access will incur a fine and or prosecution. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Yep. The console grounds loudly and the tactical display suddenly shows a glowing red dot somewhere to the north. File transfer successful. Directory anomaly 210 found. File author new guard Gargoyal. Last access directory three years ago. Uh, read notes. Picked up a signal coming from the north. Not one of the frequencies, and it's encoded. Coordinates are enclosed. Let's see if you guys can crack this one. Play sound file. I think that's a very faint Russian. Print map copy. You tear the sheet of paper from the printer. It looks pretty good, better than the maps you're used to using. As you look up, you notice a message has appeared on the screen. Warning, printer ink empty, terminal locked. I think I'm done here. Time to grab my dog and find this town. All right, so that has added Anomaly 210 to our map here. So now, like I said, I'm going to have to play through all the way up to when you leave the town, but it shouldn't be too bad since I know where to go. I might also be able to get one of the other endings this time. Also, I like that it added not only a new location to our map, but it also filled out a bunch of detail for the places we already had on there. Alright, so now I will see you when we have reached the option to head to Anomaly 210. Alright, so now I've played up to the point where we can go through the north gate. But as you can see, Garavito is still waiting for me here, even though I tried on this playthrough to make sure to avoid triggering the previous bug. 
where, you know, he tried to thank me and give me the jacket and then tried to kill me immediately after. This time, I did not do the bombs and stuff until after. Or rather, I did not talk to Garavito until after I'd already been given the bombs by the mayor, the Water Baron. So I think he's going to ambush us here instead of trying to reward us. But I figured I'd add this in before we actually head off to the north where Anomaly 210 is. So let's see what he has to say. Scavenger, going somewhere? I got a better offer, Garavito. Nothing personal. Well, you just made it personal, you conniving motherfucker. You think you can cross me, Scavenger? I am the Roamers. I'll put you in the fucking ground. Not if I kill you first. All right, <laughs> so we gotta kill him and his band. That was definitely overkill for one dude. Also, you notice I have a shit ton of armor this time. The reason for that is simply that one of the secrets I missed in the dome was a set of metal armor, which I picked up this time, so it's left me with quite a bit of armor, which I haven't run out of yet. Okay, that's, I think, Garavito, the one dashing around real quick. He's, like, side-dashing. Okay, that was enough to kill him. So he's not too tough, he's just fast. And now, we should be able to ride off to the anomaly. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get a different ending, because I wasn't sure if our ending was going to be bugged after we hit this bug. But having now finished the game in my main playthrough, which I did not at the start of this video, I think that we will probably get mostly the same ending. With, you know, the Water Baron stepping down. With the way now open, your path into the wasteland is clear. Sigma, far to the north, awaits. Hmm, I've got some time to check out that anomaly first. So yeah, basically this is just a detour before we head to the final level. So this is supposed to be a fairly spooky, atmospheric kind of level. Also, we found a new frequency. Similar to the... The, uh... Array. Except I think with more enemies. <laughs> So I think that was Russian. Kind of sounded like a number station. Uh, we got a big old pile of bones just sitting in a like a lava tube or something. It was a very dark cave. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a good music sting for this. So, there's this Soviet submarine sitting here in seemingly a landlocked... I mean, I guess maybe this used to be a lake or something? Well, that would explain the number station, I guess, if the, the sub is broadcasting. So yeah, I've tried not to spoil too much about this level for myself. I've just heard people talking about it kind of tonally, more than what's actually in it. Oh. Alright, our map does not work here at all. So we're just gonna have to find our own way. Okay, the music stopped. But I think it might come back later. TK210. All right, well, that's where the name comes from, but I wonder what the- oops. <laughs> I wonder what the actual name in Russian is there. Let me just scroll through all my weapons to try to remember which one is the Junker Musket. I'm sure someone will be able to translate that. I think this is <laughs> probably a good thumbnail, though. Now, what is this? Is this also part of the submarine? I mean, I guess the submarine is kind of buried in the sediment, right? Like, this submarine seems way too large to be 
hiding in a lake or something. But yeah, that's, I guess, the tail fin there. So, is the whole level the submarine, then? Just kind of making sure there's no other caves leading off of it. Yeah, I guess so. Well, we do have a hole in the side to go in. Also, would this be larger than a Typhoon class? If I remember correctly, Typhoon was the largest type of sub they made. The ones that had, like, little swimming pools and stuff in them for the crew. Anything up here? There's a bunch of antenna that are all raised. Uh, looks like all the missile doors are closed, though, so maybe this thing didn't launch, or it launched... Not when it crashed. If it crashed. We don't even know if it crashed or if it just sat here until the water all dried up. Okay, can I get down without breaking my legs? Uh, I don't think it's enough of a fall. Alright, let's head inside. Surely there's got to be some treasure in an old submarine. Ooh, that echo. Very ominous. <laughs> That's not even the ladder. I climbed the wrong side. Looks like somebody died in here, maybe, when they tried to search it. We got a switch. We got a map of targets, I guess. We got a periscope. Can I use the periscope? That'd be cool if you could. Nope. So this is the bridge. Need a blue employee card. Now I'm guessing we won't get any music until we... I don't know, trigger whatever is here, because I'm sure there's enemies here. Though the map says that there are zero right now, so they haven't appeared yet. Red access card, well, I guess we'll pull the uh, power switch. Alright, looks like we got emergency power now. use the periscope. Unfortunately, my lamp is going to run out at some point, but I guess at least now we have some lights of some variety. This door open. Is there... Okay, there is a ladder. <laughs> I'm going to try just walking. Oh, that's not how you walk. How do you walk? I thought it was shift. Shift just makes you go even faster, right? Weird that these look like regular doors, but they go up. I guess they didn't want to have to make a separate submarine door just for this one level. Okay, is this the engine? Oh, this looks like a secret. I'm not really sure if there's anything in here. It seems to be maybe the reactor itself. Okay. A little bit of junk. Only useful for upgrades at this point in the game. 3.6 Roachan. Not great. Not terrible. Oh. The Chernobyl reference. I didn't hear what he said at the very start. But yeah, he's talking about the rentagens. Not terrible. Not great. Purge stim. I guess the map's not going to be any use in this whole level. Hmm. What just opened? Is it this? No, that goes back up. Oh, it's just these doors closing. I keep thinking it's like, you know, the old Doom doors where they would open when you stepped in a certain spot and you'd have to run back before they close. I mean, we've had one of those even in this mod in the Chinese restaurant. Though that wasn't a walking one, it was a, you hit a switch and then have to run back. I, I'm so instinctively pulling up the map. Okay, 
Okay, so there's nothing in here. What about this? Is this anything? No. I'm definitely hearing two doors. Hmm. Okay, we got a gym here. Gotta stay in shape even on the sub. There's not really a lot of room to run back and forth down the corridors. Got a bathroom. It's a pretty fancy bathroom for a submarine. So yeah, really, this secret level seems to mostly just be to get more supplies to prepare you for the end of the game, because of where it's placed. There's no way to come here earlier. And okay, well, there goes my lamp. I'm not really sure what this hole in the wall is. Also, it seems to be a lot of concrete for the inside of a submarine. Here's Comrade Lennon himself. Oh, right, I can't pick this up because I'm actually... This save went much better, you know, knowing where all the, the dangers are, so I have ten medkits already. I mean, this place is creepy, but it's not really that spooky. You know, it's just kind of an abandoned sub, everybody's dead. Whereas in the array, it was clear that something really bad had happened and everyone had been horribly murdered. I really wish I had the light in here. We could go back to the surface and <laughs> recharge. Or we can use our NVGs, which I also still have. Though I used them a little bit more in this playthrough, so they're not as charged up. And I did not buy an extra pair from the roamers. I guess I don't really need them down here. It's only when I'm looking into dark corners. Hmm. There's the junk I saw. I'm gonna keep pulling that map up, expecting to see something. Oh. Okay, that actually was a switch, even though it just looks like a phone. Oh, there's a switch there. We haven't found any of the key cards yet. So there's, speaking of, a timed door. You just gotta do that. Go up the ladder. There's the blue key card. Nothing gonna ambush me when I pick that up. Alright. Guess this is as far as we can go in this direction. Of course, I don't remember exactly which one of the doors was a blue and which one was a red. So, we're just gonna walk back and see what we find. Can't. Oh. Well, speaking of ominous, here's a room full of uh, skeletons. Lots and lots of skeletons. Almost like everybody was locked in here to die. Did you 
can't get in this room. But it does look like it was warp as well. So I'm gonna guess there's gonna be some phantoms around here at some point. It seems like this area probably has a decently high despair level. This just leads into the reactor, right? There's no door in here. No, this is the engine. The reactor is over there. The reactor powers the engine. We just need to go back up at this point. If I can remember where that is. That's the main shaft. There might have been a door. That's a red one. This is not a door, right? This is just a wall. It looks like a big blast door. Hmm. We definitely saw a blue door somewhere. Let me go back up to the surface and charge our light up. Wait. It looks like it's already mostly charged. Was there a room where I was getting light? It charges very quickly, which is good. We're gonna need this to find where we're going now. Okay. Let me look again. I was pretty sure I saw a blue switch already. Somewhere. There we go. Another shaft. Me trying to like reverse into it. Okay, game saved. You know that means something's gonna go down down here. Red access card. Okay, medical bay. Some very old blood lying around. The war room, I suppose. Someone's... Is this the captain? Is that what that says? Captain? Mess hall. A lot of these doors are unusable. They're all, like, broken up. That's a long one. Okay, there's the red card. I would be kind of surprised that there's no water in here, but I guess there's no water out there, so it would have all just dried up and leaked back out until that dried up, too. This guy tried to escape with his red card into this corner. Well, so far, this has been a pretty straightforward exploration of the sub. I feel like that's about to change, though. Yep. Those are unique phantoms as well. Or a unique phantom. Oh, there's another one. So they seem especially uh, despairing. What should I use on them? Either 
rifle. I like that they're just projecting Russian static. <laughs> I think this is the same track that plays in the dream prologue. So they are a little tougher than the other phantoms. Man, look at all those shell casings. It's great. Sorry, I kind of took a few hits there when I was trying to get a close look at them. Also, the reason I have 89 slugs this time is because I bought one of the bandoliers for slugs from the leather worker. So, I figured since I was maxing out on slugs before, I could get even more if I grabbed that. And I think I used the other one to get uh, 9 mil ammo, since you can only have two of them. They attack much faster than the regular phantoms. I guess I didn't actually look down this corridor, but it doesn't seem like it matters. Alright. Got a switch here that just cannot be flipped. the secondary reactor. Ooh, we got very close to being very irradiated there. This side of the ship seems to be in worse condition than the other, because this engine's completely broken. Call me Tunnel Explorer for nothing. I'll climb into any hole I can see. Um, that actually didn't do too much, but I am maxed out on slugs and 12 gauge now. And pipe bombs. Wait. Now I can't tell which one of these I came from. Well, this one has enemies in it, so I guess I didn't come from here. Ah. Oh, I didn't realize there's another one behind him. So yeah, there's much shorter of a cooldown time between shots for them. They're like super dread, so they are more effective ghosts. Alright, now can I... no. I think this is the one I flipped before, isn't it? Yeah, we've just doubled back. So I'm not sure now what we should be doing. Got the red card. I guess take the red card back upstairs is all we need to do. Wait, this is 
is not even the way to do that. Alright, go back to the middle and then go up. Oh boy. I can't tell if that one was a real one, because he was floating up the stairs, like, vertically. <laughs> Did that hit me, or did I just get shoved? I think that did damage. He's just rejecting me from the elevator. Or, elevator. Ladder. Oh, there's another one. God damn it. Get out of here, ghosts. I'm trying to climb. Zombie ghosts. Leave this place. But this is our sob. Alright, here's the missiles. Kind of weird that we couldn't see these from any of the other rooms, considering, you know, they go right through the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Shouldn't run forward. I'm just going to hit more of them. Oh, this is a job for... The musket. Did I just hit his shot instead of hitting him? No, I did hit him. Nothing gets rid of ghosts like electromagnetically accelerated slugs. Any more ghosts? Anyone? You got more slugs. There's got to be some kind of big thing at the end of this, right? Not just like, here's some scrap. Another save. The music is fading out. Nothing happened. Got a computer down here. Is this a targeting computer? Are we gonna launch the nukes again? Oh man, I think that's a, a Titan stim. One that isn't horribly corrupted. Also, I realize I haven't made a save this whole time. Anomaly 210. I guess without enemies, I didn't really need one. I kind of want to see what this does. Apparently, it makes it really hard to see. I wonder if this just makes you invincible while well, it lasts. Well. I was kind of hoping that'd be just like a permanent upgrade, like maybe increasing your health to 125 or something. This terminal shows a list menu in a strange language. One item is highlighted and blinking. The rest seem to be grayed out. Try another option. You try to select another item, but when you press the enter, nothing happens. Hmm. Examine the menu more closely. You've seen snippets of this language before in books and other media you've skimmed over the years. It comes from across the great ocean, from a country called the Soviets. The program open on the terminal seems to be some kind of messaging system. The only highlighted option is dated 07-11-1989. So, seemingly quite a bit before the bombs were launched. That much you understand. Scrolling a bit, every other message still in the system is from the day before that. Interesting. Is that the fall of the Soviet Union date, I guess? Maybe this sub was just stranded here since then? Press enter on the highlighted option. You hear fans spin up. Something in the terminal clicks, and the screen displays a message. It takes a moment, but you realize the message is in English. What's this all about, then? Well done, American. You have killed us, my ship, and most of my crew. 
I know of no branch of science that allows for this, to take a ship such as mine and translocate it in such a manner. Well, that explains why it's in such a weird spot. I sincerely hope you have control of the forces you callously unleashed. Looks like there's more. Now listen to this. I may not know what weapon you have used to disable my vessel, but you will not profit from your limitless perfidy. In accordance with the Leninist principles, I inform you that you may go fuck your mother. Get off my ship or die. Captain, first rank, I, Zatio. Uh oh. Pretty sure the sub is going to self destruct. What does this do? Gets us out of here. Oh, okay, we put ourselves in. Is that a launch tube? It's time to get the fuck out of here. Also, does that mean that nobody found this sub in all this time? No one has disturbed its grave? Or I guess anyone who did was killed by the ghosts. Uh, I don't actually really know how to get out of here. Do we just go back out the way we came? Kind of hoping, like, the Soviet anthem would start playing and then the sub just explodes. And there she blows. And now this is just a big irradiated crater. I mean, I don't think the nukes went off. I think it's just, you know, nuclear material is now scattered all over. Well, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, and the rest of this is the same, so that was a cool level. It's a shame that I missed out on it because I didn't notice that terminal. But, uh, I guess, since this will be coming out before the final episode, you'll get to see what the deal is with Sigma next time. Until then, you folks all take care, and thanks for joining me across this journey through a very excellent total conversion.